Module order matters. And in this video, we're going to see a very unique situation where it really mattered. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 269 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build Joomla sites, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term, or even just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Okay, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get to this really unique situation that I found working on a client site. First of all, a quick overview of module order. Uh, here is a Joomla 4 install with uh, mostly a, a sample data installed. And you'll see over here in the sidebar right position, we know that for, because it's Cassiopeia template, we have main menu, login form, and my blog, which is actually syndication. Now, those are appearing in that order because of their module order. And to see that and to change that, you go into the back end of the site. And let's this time go to content and site modules. And we're going to go and filter by the position, module position sidebar right. Now here we have main menu, special menu. That's something that shows up only for people who are logged in and have special access, but login form, archived articles and syndication. All right, now um, if we wanna change the order, we can just drag them around. But first we have to pay attention to this column. See all these three dots things that are to the left of the, well, here in the row, um, we need those to be black so we can drag them and move them. And to do that, we click on this top column header. Now we are seeing the actual order of the module. Sometimes the order will be in order of ID or other things. Now we know we're seeing that the, of the order of the modules as they will be handled and drawn during the page. And remember this little arrow here always points to where the top item is. So if I click on it again, the top item is down below. I know it doesn't really make that much sense, but let's put the top item at the top. So we have main menu and these in this order. Let's take login form module and let's move it up to the top order and see what happens. We go to our sample page here. See here we have main menu login form. Now we refresh and the login form is first and main menu. So module order matters and where things are in a module position. Now let me show you the really weird or odd situation we ran into with a client site. Now on the site here, you'll see there's a menu and a lot of this is blurred because I didn't, you know, I don't want to sh uh, my client's information showing. Uh, but um, here you'll see there is a menu and there's a language selector, English. But look, if you select, and there's a bunch of languages to select here. If you select, let's go this tab, Portuguese, there is a space here that's not there for English. Watch it change. English jumps up. Portuguese. Portuguese is the only language uh, uh, in that module that drops that uh, doesn't appear properly. So uh, some of us looked at this and uh, for the life of, we just could not figure it out. So I got looking at it again and thought, gee, I wonder what the module positions are that these are assigned to. Maybe it's the module order. That would be weird. So what I did was I used the trick where you go question mark TP equals one at the end of the URL, and that will show you the template positions. Toilet paper equals one, that's how I remember it. If you have this turned on in the options area for your templates. When we look at those template positions, we see, hey, look, this menu and this language dropdown are both assigned to the position, module position language. So I got, huh, I'll go into the back end of the site and went to modules filtered by that position language and look and look at this of all these language switchers and there's the menu the portuguese language switcher is after uh the the uh the menu here now uh, notice these are all grayed out so we can't be sure that this is the actual module order until we click up here and then we know hey Here's at the top. Yeah, definitely Portuguese is underneath the menu. All the others that work are above. Well then, let's try this. Let's just move Portuguese above the menu. And let's go back to the Portuguese page. We refresh and it appears at the top. And that weird problem is solved because module 
order matters. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.